now we are doing word problems based on simultaneous equations we are starting with a very simple question so I'm sure that you'll be able to do it in no time sum of two numbers is 35 and their difference is 13 find the numbers start so now let me do it since here there are two unknown things so the easiest way to solve this question would be to take two variables that is x and y so let one number be x and the other number be y now that we have assigned the variables so the next step would be to create the equations and since here there are two variables so we need two equations sum of two numbers is 35 that means x plus y is equal to 35 and their difference is 13 so x minus y is equal to 13 and with that we have successfully created two simultaneous equations so now I'm sure that you can easily solve these equations and give me the answer we can use any method to solve these equations but since the coefficients are already equal see 1 1 1 1 so the second usual way that is elimination by making the coefficients equal would be the fastest way now as you can see that on adding these two equations this plus y and minus y will cancel each other out so let's quickly add these equations x plus x is 2x and this cancels out and 35 plus 13 would be 38 48 that means x would be equal to 48 divided by 2 that is 24 and we have got one unknown number now put this value of x in this equation and find the value of y so y equal to 35 minus 24 that is 11 so the question is solved y is equal to 11 and x is equal to 24 in fact there is another way to solve this question that is without using the second variable y for that we would say that let one number be x and the other number would be 35 minus x so now we would get equation in just one variable that is x you can try this approach as well in your free time so now quickly do the next word problem start so now let me do it so like always let the cost of one table be x and one chair be y rather we can use the alphabets t and c in place of the alphabets x and y so let the cost of one table be t and cost of one chair be c so two tables and three chairs together cost two hundred dollars so our first equation would be 2t plus 3c equal to 200 and similarly the second equation would be 3t plus 2c equal to 250 so we have successfully created the two simultaneous equations now just solve them since here the coefficients are different so the fastest way to solve these simultaneous equations would be the double cross multiplication method so t would be equal to 750 minus 400 divided by 9 minus 4 so 750 minus 400 is 350 and 9 minus 4 is 5 5 7 times is 35 and 0 times is 0 so that means the cost of the table is seventy dollars
now find the cost of one chair as well put this value of t in this equation 2 times 70 is 140 so 3c equal to 200 minus 140 200 minus 140 would be 60 and 60 divided by 3 is 20 so cost of chair is 20 dollars see so easily we have solved the question so now please do this word problem please do try to solve it on your own I want you to develop problem solving ability start Could you solve this question? So what's your answer? Okay, I'll just find it out for you. So like we always do, let the speed of the sailor in still water be x miles per hour and the speed of the stream be y miles per hour. So now we need to create two equations and for that we need to visualize a little. See this is the direction in which the stream is flowing and this is our sailor. The speed of the stream is y and it is always in the same direction that is downwards so when the sailor is going downstream with his speed x then his speed and the speed of the stream are going to get added since they are in the same direction so that means the resultant downstream speed would be x plus y but on his return journey sailor has to go up the stream that means his speed would be in this direction so the speed of the stream would be against him so that means his resultant speed upstream would be x minus y So, using this information, now we can easily create the two equations, one for the downstream and the other one for the upstream. So, that means x plus y is equal to 8 divided by 2 by 3, isn't it? As we all know, speed equal to distance divided by time. So this is the speed, this is the distance and this is the time. Using this relationship we have created our first equation. So now let us create the second equation as well. Once again speed equal to distance divided by time. That is 8 divided by 1 but we need not write one as it makes no difference so now we have got the two simultaneous equations and we can further simplify this fraction 2 4 times is 8 and this over 3 will get multiplied with 4 so 4 3 times is 12 so we can put 12 over here now we can easily solve this equation plus y and minus y they cancel each other out x plus x would be 2x and 12 plus 8 is 20 so that means x would be equal to 20 divided by 2 that is 10 and y would be equal to put this 10 here so y equal to 12 minus 10 that is 2 question solved speed of the sailor in still water is 10 miles per hour and the speed of the stream is miles per hour one very useful tip for you whenever you have to divide a number with a fraction you can either do it the usual way 
by putting all the steps down since this is 8 divided by 2 by 3 so we can write it that way 8 divided by 2 by 3 and as you know that division is nothing but inverse of multiplication so we can write 8 multiplied by the inverse of 2 by 3 that is 3 by 2 now this can be simplified further 2 4 times is 8 and 4 times 3 is 12 so that means this whole thing is nothing but 12 but the good news is that that you don't have to put down all these steps every time we can very easily simplify this directly since we have to divide 8 by 2 so 2 4 times is 8 and whatever we get at the top we simply times it with what is at the bottom so 4 3 times is 12 see we found that out directly these are of course the basics of mathematics very important